Today I laid out all my extra odds and ends, including this bolt. And I want to make a very special customized marlin spike with what I have right here in front of me. First, I'm going to start with a bolt like this. Now, I already turned one, so I'm just showing you what I started with, and we'll go out to the lathe so you can see what I did to it. So here we are. We started with this, and we turned it down to this. And we actually cut part of the threads out, so there's only about that many threads there, because we're going to do something unique with this on this marlin spike. So we wanted to start with uh, something we could turn down, stainless steel bolt, and it's going to be used for a special purpose. So let's go find out what it is. Okay, so far I've cut off four inches of half inch drill rod. Kind of put a little uh, center tap hole there. I'm going to drill it out with this drill bit and then go a little bit bigger around because this, when I clean it up, is going to fit inside kind of like a little uh, pocket for this because it's going to end up being a special tool later. It's going to go crossways. Boy, we got rain coming again, more thunder. All right, so I'll get that drilled out, and uh, then we're going to start our taper on this to make a point. It's going to be hollow on this side to fit this pin that I made, and then it's going to go down to a fine point, and uh, we'll discuss the dimensions of that a little bit later. Okay, we're putting the uh, taper on this spike, and I want you to notice something right here. It's like really only about two degrees on uh, the offset on this, and it's already taken shape. We want to get it back to about right here. So about two inches on this side, I got a two inch hole bored through to uh, hold the little uh, pin that I've made. Then I'm gonna show you how this works a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this uh, cutting off camera till we get a nice point down on this side here. Okay, here we are so far. We've got this cut down. We've got this beautiful uh, taper in it. A little bit of a fine point. I don't know if you can see that real. That's done with a file, just to get that there. This is a hardened steel drill rod. So this, uh, that can penetrate pretty darn good. We're gonna heat treat it a little bit later. Got the whole board out. We used a reamer to get that in there, nice and pretty. Here's our special uh, bolt, like that one that we cut down. Fits nice right inside, like I want it. And that's gonna work good. Then we're gonna have this go inside of another holder and uh, do a decorative uh, brass piece that's gonna be threaded. It's gonna go in here. We're probably gonna make it out of a piece of this about that long. So we'll get into that in a bit. Okay, I just um, cut me a decorative end that goes on this uh, special pin that I made that was out of that uh, long bolt, stainless steel, and it's been tapped. <clears throat> What's gonna end up happening with this is that this will be a bead on a lanyard. Then when you wanna use it, you pull this off. You'll have a hole drilled right through here uh, right there and so the lanyard can go through it the rope can go through it and it's threaded on this end of course and uh, Then when you take this out as a compact unit and pull the pin out of the center of the marlin spike Then uh, you can screw this on the end and use it. So kind of a useful bead special project Did some uh, decorative cutting in it right here to match up so that when I drill the hole through this one it just kind of ties it in together, makes it look nice. I'll probably do a couple of these grooves, maybe on the side of that too. I'm going to put a threaded uh, brass end on this that's got a scallop in it so that you can wrap rope around it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as you know, this, as I showed before, fits inside the spike. Okay. Take it out, this is going to have a hole drilled through the side of the spike, and this is going to come through it like this. Then you're going to thread this end of this bead that's going to hang on the lanyard onto that. And this is going to have a decorative piece on the end uh, of the spike, and I'm going to make it right now. So what i got to do is I'm going to tap it with this, uh, this tap. It's an M7 1.0 thread pitch. So I'm going to go out and tap that right now. Then I'm going to use the die and my die holder to machine out a piece of brass that's going to be decorative 
but it also has a function. It's got a scallop in it to put rope around it, so you can make rope with this. So I'm designing this special for two features. One, so you can use this to uh, work on your rope and, you know, get out knots or tighten them up or whatever you're going to do. But it also is designed so this has a counterweight and you can wrap string around this end when I'm done and spin rope with it as well. Really kind of a cool special design. So I'm going to work on that right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut some threads and uh, we'll uh, bring it back and see how it works. Okay, here's uh, what I've got so far. Did a little bit of decorative cuts here. I tapped this right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is going to be threaded onto it. Going to put some threads. This is right. my uh, special die holder, spring loaded. You can see it moves a little bit. That way it gives a constant pressure on here, and I don't have to keep on running the uh, tailstock crank all the time to try to get it to go. So I'll go ahead and uh, thread this up and uh, see what happens here real quick. All right, making a little more progress. This is the uh, hex stock I've got. I uh, finished it off, tapped it, and threaded it, and uh, now I've got to part it off probably in here. I'm going to do some direct decorative cuts. I'm going to drill a hole all the way through. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it here, scallop this, or put the hole here. But that way I can put that special pin in, and then i got to make the holder for the whole thing so that it uh, all ties together. So uh, we're going to get back to work and see what we can do there and I'll uh, give the dimensions and all the pieces later. All right, here's where we are at so far. We've got this end on, got a little bit of a groove in there so I can put a uh, rope around it and uh, got decorative cuts in it. I'm going to get this and uh, heat treat it now. It's going to be blued when it's done. Another shot of the full design. so. You can kind of see how it goes together. This is the cap for this. This is the uh, threaded end that goes on this piece. So that goes in there like that. And this will thread in to there like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat treat this now. It's going to be beautiful uh, blue when I'm done with it. Okay, hopefully you can see I put a hole through this right here and uh, used a reamer to make it smooth out a little bit inside. That was so that I could fit this uh, special pin through it. Now I had to make the hole a little bit bigger because the threads are a larger diameter than the shaft is. So I had to make it big enough that those would fit. That makes it a little bit of play there, but that's okay. Okay, so this is uh, the complete Marlin Spike with the special attachment that I made that uh, you can attach string in this notch and if you twist it it will start to braid it into a twine or into a rope and you you do it by spinning this like this and then you're going to do that with the string on this uh, cut right there and makes kind of a cool tool the T-handle also, you know, if you want self-defense, you can also grip it that way as well. Kind of a cool. I have to put this on, say, a lanyard through here and maybe drill a hole through this bead. I might make another uh, part to this you know, with this, hollow this out and actually have this inside of this with a threaded cap and uh, then this on a lanyard bead. So uh, we'll see if uh, that's going to work out. Not sure we're thinking about it right now but otherwise this is done here this has also been done and this is tool steel uh, drill rod and it's been heat treated and tempered so pretty tough stuff okay here we are still working on it a little bit we've got the spike we got the pin right there got the end cap for the spike the threads in there. This bead is actually the threaded end that goes here. It's on the lanyard like that. This is the start of the holder for all of it. So this would go in here like this. This bead goes in first. Then this all slides in. And uh, the cap is going to be hollow and threaded into here. Probably brass about that long. 
so that it'll thread in together, have a hole through it, and it can hang on the lanyard. And then the bead will come off later, and you just um, dump everything out and uh, put it all together. So we'll get working and figure out. Probably have to buy a big, uh, big tap and die in order to uh, thread this and, and put the threads on the other. Haven't learned how to do it on the lathe yet. Maybe that should be a project of mine to go and figure out how to cut threads on the lathe. But uh, we'll save that for another video. Okay, here's an update. This is kind of the container that all this is going to go into. It's a little short, so I'm going to put a brass cap on it. Now, you might be wondering what this great big grade 8 bolt is doing in there. Well, I could find a uh, tap, but I couldn't find a die locally. So what I'm doing is I took this bolt, I tapped this out with this uh, 5 8 thread national course. So it's a 5 8 11. And uh, I hollowed this bolt out. So I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so you can see this is hollowed out. I need to polish it up a little bit. This is so, and this is all together, like this. Okay, it needs to go this direction, that the point can fit. So it goes in, and it threads down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this about right here, right at the end of the threads. And then I'm going to make a brass end here, this decorative, that will thread down on this. I'll Loctite it, and then it'll have this sleeve threaded inside of it to go into here. Otherwise, I would normally just take the brass, hollow it out, and cut a thread, but I couldn't find a, a place with a local uh, die anywhere. I may even change it later and actually get a die and thread it on the brass, but I thought here's a, tr a way to try something and just see if I can make a little bit of lemonade out of it and it has this grade eight bolt sleeve that'll thread in both ends and this will just be Loctited into the brass side. And uh, we'll make it work like that. So let's uh, see how it goes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to take a piece of this uh, brass, same diameter as this. I think it's three-quarter. And uh, here's my sleeve. Drilled it out. The hole goes approximately to my thumbnail, so just shy of the end. This is going to have to be inserted into here. And this will have a decorative ball on the end. It, uh, I cut it off the grade 8 bolt with a Dremel on this side, so it was like that. I polished it up, cleaned it up with the lathe on this side, did a little bevel here, and uh, here's a nut right here. Hard to do this with one hand. There we go. So you can see it threads right on. And all the way across. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this out of brass Go ahead and uh, tap it, thread this in there like, like that when I'm done, and uh, put some Loctite on it, and then that whole dude will thread in. Of course, I got the nut on here. We'll have the brass end on with a decorative ball on the end, hole in it so we can put it back on our lanyard. So that's the idea. Although it almost looks kind of cool just with the nut. All right, back to business. Okay, here we are threading that uh, end cap right now. It's going to be cut about where my thumb is clear up here. We had to drill it about, oh, a little over three quarters of an inch deep. And uh, that's so the threads would fit. We got the, uh, the tap in there right now. A little bit of chips because I've been cutting and drilling this thing out. And uh, we'll just kind of take it from there, get the threads done, see how they fit, and uh, cut it off, do a little decorations on this part, drill a hole, and we should be finished. Okay, here we are. Got this section of brass, gonna cut it off somewhere in here and decorate it up a little bit. But this is that special bushing that I made off of that uh, bolt. I had to cut the threads back a little bit and put a special taper on it right there. That way it would fit properly in the back of that hole that I've got in there. And uh, when it all goes together, and here's the, uh, the aluminum end with the uh, marlin spike in it.
a little tough to do this with one hand. But there, they fit good. So I'll flush this up a little bit so it's a little more polished and I'll cut this off here, put a decorative end on it and some scallops and make it kind of look nice and uh, she'll be done. Okay, here we're doing a little bit of ball turning. This is my ball turner right here. Just putting a rounded end on there. Gonna finish it off real quick. Just a tiny bit more. All right. There we go. Okay, here's this uh, end cut. You just use them a sanding soft sponge block to kind of polish it up. Looking pretty. Alright, here we go. Here's all the pieces that were machined. Took about um, two good days to uh, get all these pieces done. A little bit off and on, a few breaks in between. Had to barbecue some ribs and a couple of burgers, you know, but all in all, uh, two pretty decent days. This, of course, is the end. This is the special bushing that I made out of uh, that grade 8 bolt. Drilled it so it would uh, allow the point of the marlin spike to go in it. This is the tube. Now, this is a little longer, and this is longer because this was a scrap piece of tube, so I just used whatever I had, and then I had this as an end piece of uh, brass and so I use that. This was all done off of um, uh, a hex brass that I turned down so that it would match. This is a uh, 3 8 uh, drill rod and uh, this is uh, 3 quarter inch stock. Now for some quick measurements. This piece started out about 5 inches. Yeah, about 5 inches right there. 3 quarter inch. Piece of brass. This was also 3 quarter inch. This is about inch and a half piece I ended up cutting off. Had to, uh, of course, drill and, and uh, tap that out. This piece here we cut down probably about an inch and a quarter, roughly, on that piece and drilled that out. This here, this is uh, 3 8 drill rod. That's about four inches. Okay, this little cap piece probably started out about an inch and then I trimmed it down uh, after doing some uh, machining on it. This uh, bead, which is actually the end that goes to this, this was a stainless steel bolt. We uh, turned this down here, left some of the threads on and uh, took off the hex head, made it round so it's uh, polished. This is about one inch bead. The bolt was uh, just over like this, about probably two <clears throat> two and, a, and an eighth or so inch bolt. Okay, hopefully that gives you all the dimensions on it. And, uh, you know, you can have fun and, and uh, see if you can play around and build one of these yourself. I'll put it all together. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share with others. I'm going to finish this off with a short video without sound of me tempering another marlin spike that I did so that you can get a little bit of a view of the process. It gets cherry red, dropped in cold water, and then re-blued to the bluish color that you see after it's polished.